Germany's power lines stretch almost two million kilometers. And each meter means some energy is wasted. Experts estimate that up to 6% of the country's electricity is lost along the way to the end user. The residents of this neighborhood in Berlin want an alternative to traditional power lines. A municipal housing association has installed eight combined heating and power units in the basements of apartment buildings. The production of heat and electricity allows us to provide heating to our apartments. And the byproduct is the availability of inexpensive power in these accommodations. Natural gas is used to run the heating and power units. Engineers for the Gaza company manage the entire gas network in Berlin. They ensure that even these small heating and power units have sufficient gas supplies. Since we produce electricity in the heating and power unit, it doesn't have to be generated by a large power plant. Large power plants use coal, which is a much bigger polluter than natural gas. Researchers at the European Energy Forum are examining the implications of Germany's exit from nuclear power, how power can be generated and stored in the future. They found that local power generation, such as with the small power units, isn't always effective. Of course it has its limits. It doesn't make sense to create decentralized capacity if there's a lack of demand. There are, of course, some interesting proposals for joint centralized and decentralized production. We are just beginning to examine them and still have to take a close look at their financial viability. Even in the future, not all of the 60,000 residents served by the Berlin Housing Association will get their electricity from small power blocks. So it's likely that large power masts will continue to dot Germany's landscape for many years to come.